Hey y'all, Coach and Fight here, looking at part two of our mini series on the three testaments of the Bible. And like in part one, where we discussed why there is three testaments to our Bible and where they originated from. In this part, we're going to continue looking at this section in chapter 38 of the third testament of the Bible. Don't worry if you missed part one. I'll give a link to it at the end of this video because of the way the book is broken down into different lessons. It's not that important that you read it in chronological order. So let's just start here at verse 21, which says, if my birth as man during the second era was a miracle and my spiritual ascension after my bodily death was another miracle. Truly, I say to you that my communication during this time through human understanding is also a spiritual miracle. Talking about how our father is actually able to communicate with us spirit to spirit. That is actually a miracle when you think about it. Him being in the spiritual world is actually able to communicate to us through our understanding. And he does so, we learn in the third testament of the Bible through intuition, through our dreams, and our conscience. Verse 22 says, Up to the last of my prophecies will be fulfilled during this time. This is actually something new for our time. This is actually how this book was able to be written, through what he calls human understanding. But we learned about that back in chapter 1. So let's look at verse 22. It says, Up to the last of my prophecies will be fulfilled during this time. I leave you my three testaments, forming one only. And this is an important fact to understand, is that these three testaments, even though they were given thousands of years apart, actually make up one Bible or one set of scriptures or one document just in three different parts. And that's because humans were not ready for all three parts at one time. There was no way for us to understand the spiritual nature of all of this back there during Moses's time. So we actually had to evolve first by learning the law, learning what it means to be clean, learning how to stop living like animals, which humans tend to do without an understanding of those biblical laws that tell us what foods are not acceptable to be eaten what relationships we're not supposed to be involved in, and how different bodily fluids actually are dangerous to us. We take all of that stuff for granted now, but if it wasn't for the Old Testament, there's no telling how humans would be acting these days. And once we learn to live like humans, then we got the New Testament of the Bible, where we learned love for our brother and love for our father. And in this third era, we're learning spirituality, how to communicate with our father and even with the elements and nature and such and many other aspects of life that we weren't ready for previous to now. So that's why I'm saying that, that these three testaments are all one. It's because they all had to come in three different parts. Verse 23 says, He who has not known the Father as love, sacrifice, and forgiveness, let him know him fully during this period, so that instead of fearing his justice, he may love and venerate him. See, those testaments, all three, were for our education. So now we don't have to live in fear anymore. We understand cause and effect. We understand what we're doing wrong or what we're not doing right. So then we start to understand the justice behind all of this. It's not our father that causes us pain or illnesses or sicknesses. Those are all the result of our own actions. But we had to learn that through scriptural education and praise our father in heaven. Hallowed be his name for giving us those scriptures. And we love him for doing so. Verse 24 says, If you were devoted to the law during the first era, 
It was for fear that the divine justice would punish you. But for that reason, I sent you my word so that you would understand that God is love. This is talking about the Old and the New Testament. In the First Testament, during the first era, humans thought that our father was all about punishment because they didn't understand that cause and effect and why the elements was rising up against them when they did things wrong. So he sent our Messiah, the word made flesh in order for us to understand, like it says there, that our father is all about love and not punishment. I say it again. He is not the one that's causing us our pain. That is the result of our actions. Verse 25 says, today my light comes to you so that you will not lose yourselves and will be able to reach the end of the road being faithful to my law. This referring to one of the key elements that we learn in this third testament on our spiritual evolution, how this all works. First, we learn to live within the law. Then we get our love mission, which once completed, we're able to go on to the higher mansions. Again, we learn all of this in the third testament. So I would advise you to check it out. You can find links to it in the description of this video, both in audio and a link to this PDF that you can download to your computer. Check those out while you continue to check out this mini series on the reasons behind the three testaments of the Bible. You can find links to part one appearing now, or you can check out some of these other videos that you may find interesting. Please leave us a comment before you go and Shalom.